So you are telling me that you didn't know that the AGESA 1.2.0 uh, A uh, BIOS update fixes uh, iLock anti-piracy problems with the new AMD CPUs? Well, it seems like it does. And thanks to a fair amount of people on my channel commenting on my previous video where I'm talking about iLock problems, where they share that their issues are now fixed. I think it's safe to say that a uh, BIOS update should fix your problems with iLock uh, authentication software if you are, uh, have the new AMD CPUs or if you are planning to build a new system based on the new AMD CPUs. What you need to do is you need to go to your motherboard support and the downloads page, find the BIOS section there. It's uh, usually on the section where you can download drivers and on the ASUS website it can look uh, something like this. Just make sure it says uh, 1.2.0.2a somewhere there or perhaps a number higher than that if you watch this video in the future where you have built a system using the new AMD CPUs and you have issues. So on ASUS motherboards at least you download the file, you unpack everything to a uh, folder, then you run the BIOS renamer program. So it renames the file to some kind of a file and it has the cap file extension. Then you find a USB key, USB drive, plug it in your computer, uh, preferably format it to FAT32, and then you just copy the uh, cap file over to the USB drive and you can just leave it in your computer. Reboot your computer and you enter the BIOS before Windows starts up. So you just have to mash the delete button on your keyboard while you reboot the computer and uh, you should get into the uh, BIOS uh, section. And uh, in here you should be able to update your BIOS. In ASUS the BIOS section is called EC Flash or something like that I think on the other manufacturers probably called BIOS update or flash or something like that. You go into that, you find your USB drive there, you find the BIOS file and you run the uh, update. It will probably take yeah anything from a few minutes to like I think five or ten minutes or something like that. Make sure you don't accidentally turn off your computer during this update because then you're going to have a, a pretty bad time. Uh, if that happens. In uh, worst case you won't be able to recover your system without sending in your motherboard and reflashing it in some way or something like that. Some expensive motherboards have backup biases uh, which it will revert back to but uh, yeah make sure you don't kick off your <laughs> power strip. When the BIOS is updated, you restart your computer, you go into Windows and then you have to make sure you update to the latest version of iLock download it from their website and after that hopefully the authentication software should uh, work again and you can use some of your plugins in your projects again. So this is what you get for being an honest and paying user for software sometimes. Uh, sometimes it has its drawbacks, especially when uh, anti-piracy software like this stops working or just takes over your computer completely. That's just something we have to live with. If we want to buy some of these plugins, if you're going to live on the bleeding edge PC-wise, especially PC-wise, you have to realize that things like this can happen. And it's always wise to wait a while until you upgrade to see if any problems appears. Some might say you should get a Mac if you produce music and especially since Apple CPUs are now so power efficient. And I tend to agree in some case, uh, if you only do music production and uh, that's the only thing you do, I think that uh, a uh, Mac is a good choice. But people might do different things on their PCs. When you have some relaxed time, gaming might be one a big one. And most people don't can't afford to have two systems so so that's the only reason I also use PCs over there that's because I yeah I like the occasional gaming I want the best gaming ex experience you can get and that's obviously on a PC but if I only did music production and unless I had any specific strange needs I will probably just stick to a Mac, probably a Mac Studio or something like that. So, but I hope this helps for you that have upgraded and for you that are on the fence, iLock wise, it should be safe to go for the new AMD CPUs or I don't know, safe-ish. I will leave a link in the description below to the support article on iLock's website. It seems like it's uh, being kept up 
up to date and it has some information and links to help you out uh, around this issue. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching and uh, talk to you in another video. Goodbye. Maybe if you're on uh, travels a lot, if you... I thought... Hmm. Some might say you should... <coughs> That's why... My... my <coughs> Helvete, va? Now, some should say... <laughs>